you sure about that, mate? I can. You tell him, cowboy. These bastards think Americans can't hold their liquor. Look, I, uh, I hate to hold my hand out, but I seem to have misplaced my wallet. Set him up. I drink to you. What's your name, cowboy? Sawyer. To Sawyer. May he find whatever he's looking for at the bottom of a glass. So, Sawyer, what brings you to Sydney? Business. You know why they call Australia down under, don't you? Because it's as close as you can get to hell without being burned. How about you leave the bottles? States. I was a chief of surgery. Was. Yeah, I was. So we're in hell, huh? Don't let the air conditioning fool you, son. You are here too. You are suffering. But don't beat yourself up about it fate. Some people are just supposed to suffer. That's why the Red Sox will never win the damn series. I have a son. He's about your age. He's not like me. He does what's in his heart. He's a good man. Maybe a great one. And right now, he thinks that I hate him. He thinks I feel betrayed by him. But what I really feel is gratitude and pride because of what he did to me, what he did for me. It took more courage than I have. Hmm. There's a payphone over here. I could pick it up and I could call my son. I could tell him about all of this. I could tell him that I love him. One simple phone call and I could fix everything. Why don't you? Because I am weak. This, uh, this business that you have, will it ease your suffering? Yeah. Then what are you doing here? It ain't that simple. Of course it is. Unless you want to end up like me, of course it is. Take him out. Trying to be funny? Yeah. <laughs> that was fresh out of pies to throw at you. Yo, Sheriff. I asked you for this two days ago, and I told you to stick it. <laughs> but I made a deal with your girlfriend. What did she give you? Kate, what did she give you? Nothing she wasn't willing to part with. <laughs> it's 
That's why the Sox will never win the series. What's that? Huh? What'd you just say? I said that's why the Red Sox will never win the series. What the hell is that supposed to mean? It's just something my father used to say. So he could go through life knowing that people hated him. Instead of taking responsibility for it, he just put it on fate. Said he was made that way. Your daddy. He a doctor too? Was. He's dead. Why do you want to know about my father? No reason. Lumberjack. Excuse me? Never asked you what you did back in the real world, so taking a wild guess. Lumberjack. Something I can help you with, Doc. So I got work to do. Got something for you. You're the only one on the raft who knows how to use one. What do I need a gun for? Just in case. You think we're gonna run out of food, water? Supposed to put the kid out of his misery? Just in case. What are you doing with the rest of them? I'm giving them to Saeed. Going in the jungle after the boomsticks, huh? Yeah. By the time you get back, we'll be in the water. <sighs> guess this is pretty much goodbye then. Yeah, I guess it is. Good luck, Sawyer. Jack. About a week before we all got on the plane. Got to talking with this man in a bar in Sydney. He was an American too. Doctor. I've been on some benders in my time, but this guy, he's going for an all-time record. So it turns out this guy has a son. Son's a doctor, too. They'd had some kind of big time falling out. The guy knew it was his fault, even though his son was back in the States thinking the same damn thing. See, kids are like dogs. You knock them around enough, they'll think they did something to deserve it. Anyway, there's a payphone in this bar, and this guy, Christian, tells me he wishes he had the stones to pick up the phone and call his kid. Tell him he's sorry. He's a better doctor than he'll ever be. He's proud. He loves him. I had to take off, but... <laughs> Something tells me he never got around to making that call. Small world, huh? Yeah. Good luck, Jack. 